What's going on, guys? It's Mr. DEBT, Joe Lork from the Money Etiquette Group, and I have to talk about Gucci Mane signing on to be at least one of the faces of the 2020 Gucci campaign. And you know why I want to talk about this? Because, I mean, whether you talk about a few months ago, about, you know, six months ago, or you talk about the video that I made uh, a few weeks ago, I was just talking about the aftermath of the Gucci blackface boycott you know the calls from ti and spike lee and other uh celebrities and the outcry about gucci blackface and all the talk about boycotting gucci remember that i don't know if you remember that energy I also spoke about the uh, parent company of gucci caring and how in their uh i think it was their second quarter report how they spoke about yeah things are slowing down in the u.s in terms of luxury sales they spoke about everything about why Gucci kind of was slowing down, but they didn't bring up any of this controversy. They didn't speak about, okay, well, you know, because of the black face sweater uh, outcry and the racism uh, campaign outcry because people were offended, that may have caused a small bump or a small decrease in sales. They didn't speak of it at all. They didn't mention it. You are not relevant. Anyone that chose to boycott when it comes to how uh, the parent company caring speaks to their investors, you were not a part of that conversation. Sales did drop some, but they said it's due to uh, a drop in Chinese tourism because uh, if you didn't know, Chinese consumers are the number one consumers of Gucci. But I want to know how you feel about this. I mean, Gucci Man signed on. Are you going to boycott Gucci Man if you are uh, boycotting Gucci? Do you disagree with him signing? I personally don't care because I never looked at this situation and I'm never going to be a person that says someone shouldn't make a business move that's beneficial to them. I'm not a person that's a big Gucci Man fan. I'm not against him either. I'm just saying that it didn't move me one way or the other because I don't consume too much of his music. And I also don't believe that everyone's obligated to jump on every boycott. You do what you want to do. It's up to you. But for those who are boycotting, those who really feel a type of way about Gucci and that black face, that sweater, you know, that controversy, you feel like Gucci was deliberately being racist, that they weren't considering us. You didn't care that Dapper Dan came out and said, look, they're going to talk to me. You're like, Dapper Dan is just a front. For those who really have that energy or had that energy for Gucci, I want to know if you have that same energy now for Gucci Man. Or do you feel like, you know what? It was a few months ago. It's not really a big deal. Are you still boycotting or is it over? Did it end because the negative press ended? Or is it something that's going to be sustained? I want to know from you guys how you feel about it. And again, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm not trying to criticize you for what you do. I just want to know where you are today. Over 1,000, 1,000 plus people commented on my previous video about the controversy. So I want to see if that same energy is there. I want to see where you guys are. And a lot, and I can tell you, a lot of people doing that uh, controversy during the time when the blackface uh, sweater was out there and all the controversy was out there. A lot of people put out energy that said, look, we shouldn't be supporting Gucci in the first place. You know, our artists shouldn't support Gucci. Gucci doesn't care about us. Well, Gucci man just signed on it. I want to know if it means anything to you. And I want to know if you're going to have any boycott energy for Gucci man for signing on to Gucci. Of course, also another celebrity that's been talked about lately has been Jay-Z in the NFL. Do you have the same energy for Gucci man that you have for Jay-Z? For those who have a problem with Jay-Z working with the NFL, do you have a problem with Gucci Man being the face, or at least one of the prominent faces, of Gucci in 2020? So make sure you add something in the comment section and also share, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. We're going to have an ongoing conversation about Gucci. I'm not just letting it go because the energy went down. I want to see how this goes from the time that the Gucci blackface sweater came out and the uh, whole call for boycotts came out. I want to see how it goes over the next several years, not just two months, three months, or four months later. And also, as you know, I provide content related to uh, IPOs and investing, uh, paycheck to paycheck, not being broke, uh, how to reach financial freedom, financial literacy, everything financial you'll find on this channel. But again, and specifically right now, I'm talking about Gucci Man. I'm talking about Gucci, boycotts, blackface sweaters, and all the controversy. How do you feel about it? Let me know in the comment section.